What's up guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It is your girl Jay here and in today's video I had the idea part two of how to tie your turban, how to wear a head wrap, all of that stuff. If you remember I posted up a video a while back and it actually was probably one of my most popular viewed videos. It had about 1.1 million views so I'm proud of that but hopefully we can get consistent to where all of my videos are up there but it takes time, it's a process, amen? So, um, but it was one of my mostly viewed videos, so I wanted to kind of redo it again and just give you guys maybe an updated way of how I tie my turbans. I have to be honest though, I haven't honestly been wearing them that much, but I thought it would be a great time to kind of redo it simply because when I did do that video, that video was probably maybe like a year ago, and, well actually I know for a fact it was over a year ago, um, simply because that was when I had really first started growing my hair out and my hair was probably this long and I tied my turbans according to, you know, if you were just having a bad hair day or if you just wanted to wear a turban, how to wrap it up. So this video is going to be a little bit different because clearly I have a lot longer hair now. My hair is no longer that length. So we have a little bit more to work with and it may be a little bit more of a challenge to kind of get that hair tucked in, tucked away, wrapped up, how to not tangle it up, how to not tear your hair up all of that other stuff and I love a good turban style just simply because it is another way to just kind of be fashionable even if you are having a bad hair day and you may not like your hair that day or you just want something different other than just wearing your hair. <sighs> My twist out is still lasting. This is like day four going on day five. <laughs> so this twist out is lasting. I did use the As I Am original collection. I know As I Am just recently came up with something new, which I would actually really like to try because my twist out is bomb with um, the original As I Am collection. The turbans that I'm gonna be featuring today is from Afro Accessories and Trendy Turbans. Now I have to be honest, again, I'll have to double check up here on the screen if they are still available or even if they're still up on the site because I, I used to promote for a trendy turban a whole lot, like really, really heavy. They have really dope head wraps and turbans. So I have to just make sure that they're still there and still rocking and still able to purchase. So, but if not, you can easily find head wraps anywhere. I even have a scarf over here as well, just to show you guys that you don't have to actually have a turban. It's just more of the technique of how to wrap, you know, some type of fabric around your head. Okay, so boom, I'm gonna first start out with it's like, I kind of feel like this one matches me, but not really, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. But this is one that's easy to go to and that's not gonna, you know, cause you to do a whole lot of work. So what I'm doing is this is very long and yeah. So I'm just going to fold it in half to make it a little bit skinnier. That way it can wrap around my head really good. And then I'm gonna fold it one more time. Boom, so we get a really nice small layer here. I'm gonna start in the back, just that way I can make sure hair is kind of in the back. Okay, so as I pull it up, as you can see, the hair is covered up here in the back, which is cool. You can perfect it later on, just make sure the hair is tucked. So what I'm gonna do is tie it into a little knot. Again, you just wanna make sure your hair is forming the way that you want it underneath. I'm gonna go through and pull. So before I even make any type of bow or anything, this is where I'm gonna start tucking, just to kind of make sure I'm styling it. It's looking the way I want it to without it looking crazy, especially like these side parts. I really don't want those sticking out. And I like doing it this way, that way, once they're all tucked and if it loosens up or anything, I can go back in and tighten it, opposed to going ahead and you know making that. And then go back through and tighten it up, make sure it's good. I'm gonna just tuck some of the tips in, in the back. Very easy, very easy. It's honestly all about a tucking situation. So, of course, you can just do like a double knot, bring it to the, you know, bring it around where it's something like that. But for me, I'm gonna make like a little bow, which, cause I think bows are cute. This is definitely a good style, especially if you had a twist out and your twist out is no longer looking up to par. This is definitely something that you could do. So again, you see like these little straggly pieces, just go through, tuck them, tell them where you want them to go, cause they'll go. Then you can have your front, turn to the side, whatever, and here you go. Now, of course, if these aren't gonna lay down, there's always room for bobby pins, okay? Okay, so now you just have like a cute, go-to hair wrap style, something cute. Now, I will not say that this is like 
the everyday head wrap. But I mean, you could also do, so if you don't wanna do the bow, you could also bring it back to the back, tighten it up, and then tuck it like this as well. And then you just have like a cute little statement piece, some color. This part up here, you're still seeing hair through here. Just kind of covering the middle. You can also take the entire thing, cover your hair, and then maybe just have the front open. Then take you a bobby pin, just in case you have, you know, a whole lot of hair going on up here at the top. Now, if you want it to cover everything, I know some people do that, you know. Yours might look a little bit better than mine, but you could have a bang here. Call it a day. It's super simple, super easy. I love this color. Let's switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna go into a turban here. This is a velvet turban. This is from a trendy turban. I, honestly, this was one of her holiday collections about maybe two years ago, a year maybe. So again, there's this beautiful burgundy shade and then she had a, these are all the same material. So then you had this cream color and then you had this beautiful green. This is so appropriate for the holidays. So with all the trendy turbans, if you remember, if you're an oldie here at the channel, you've been watching for a while, then you may remember when I used to talk about these trendy turbans. Cool thing about it is they always have this open flap, it's literally like a pocket within the turban. That's for like the back of your head. And then you have the rest of the material to play with, but this helps it stay secure. I really am trying to remember if she still has them. Yeah, trendy turban, they're still alive. They're still popping. So with this, I'm gonna take this pocket. And the funny thing about it is, this is great material, so it'll stretch. So I was about to say, I wonder if my hair will even fit. But so far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. Now depending on the style, depending on the type of outfit you have going on, depending on what your preference is. I'm trying to figure out how I used to wear these things. It's crazy, I haven't even worn these in so long. Now again, I'm not used to wearing turbans with a head full of hair. So this is, I'm a virgin to this, like okay. I have never done this with a head full of hair. I, even when I wore them before heavy, even before I went natural, I was relaxed. I had relaxed short hair. So if you can tell what I did, I'm leaving the front out and I kinda wanna do like another bang situation. So I'm gonna take a bobby pin and just kind of manipulate my hair up here for a second. That's why I love these turbans. That pocket comes in handy for so many things. Again, it is for security as well. Had to scoot down. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the two ends, pulling them up. The only thing I can say, I don't feel with my hair being puffy like this, I don't feel that I'll be able to get the most snatched type of look, but I know I can pull it tight enough. So just like anything else, we're just gonna take it and we are gonna twist it, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to try to make like a little donut, make it into like a little bow, just to secure it. So you see, it covers everything. Everything's covered, everything looks good and secure. Is this coming off? No, you got a full day of work, you got a full day of a party, dinner, whatever you're doing, it ain't going nowhere. Your hair's protected, your hair's covered. You still have enough material to cover them ears if it's cold outside. All right, so if you don't have a regular head wrap, if you don't have a trendy turban, but you can get your hand on a scarf, do it. Gorgeous. This scarf is actually from Target. It's super huge. I actually used it as a throw over my bed just because it's so massive. I mean, I know it's not that, that big, but it's for a scarf, this is actually pretty big. Like, I ain't got that much neck. Okay, what you can do is get one of these joints. These are just like a big, super hairband. I used to use these when I had box braids, but now that I'm natural, I definitely use them for this. So I'm just gonna put it over my head and this way, this way I can make me like a puff at the top. That way this will help snatch my hair upward. So it all I'm gonna do is pull it back. I'm gonna just clip my little flyaways. Okay, so now that you got your hair up mainly, now I'm gonna take the scarf. Just like anything else, I'm just gonna take it to the back. Okay, so now what you wanna do is just bring it to the front, just like you would do any other turban. And because we have that puff kind of secure, that's gonna be our tightening point. That's gonna give us that ball at the top. That's gonna give us that full on shape. Now if you do it this way, you will have to kind of form it as you go, just simply because I didn't actually put it in a ball. 
and the hair is kind of just doing its own thing right now. So I'm just gonna twist, twist, twist. Again, this scarf is huge, so you have a lot of playroom. Target has some really awesome scarves. They're a bit pricey in my opinion, like this one, for example, I think was like $17 and something after tax. The many ways that I can use it, I think is definitely worth it, especially for things like this, rather than just a scarf. I can use it for a throw on my bed and also a head wrap. This has like these little ruffles at the end, which I think is actually kind of cute now that I'm looking at it. But as you can see, just throw it up and go. I know some people don't care to have the hairline showing at all, but honey, we do hairline over here. Let me get me a utensil to slick my edges back. So just go through, finesse your edges if you even desire to. If you don't wanna finesse your edges, you don't have to finesse them. They already finessed, amen? So I just wanted to give you a couple of styles to rock just in case you are newly natural or if you just want to do something with your hair. I will link that video down below if you wanna watch that one. My hair was a lot shorter then and I was able to do a lot more styles. Again, um, this is my first time doing these type of turban wraps and stuff with having a head full of hair. I haven't had a head full of hair since like eighth grade, middle school. So it's been a while, okay? And even then I didn't wear turbans, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. Again, I will definitely leave the link to the other video down below. Just, <sighs> again, I got a lot of comments that I talked a whole lot. I'm a talker, but I'm giving you guys information and just commentary, just trying to teach you guys something, something that I've learned and that helps me. So I hope it helps you guys as well. So like I said, I'll link that down below if you're interested. If you're new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And of course, until next time, God willing, I will definitely see all in my next video. Mwah.